YouTube, hi, we're back with Silent Hill 3, like I said we would. I'm doing fine, thank you, Chibu. I'm still tired, but, I mean, fine uh, otherwise. Better than yesterday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely better than yesterday, at the very least. I'm, uh, like I said, going to be continuing with more Silent Hill 3 today. We're not going to finish the game quite yet, I don't believe. I'm, uh, like I said, this uh, I do think this will be a three-parter, so... Hopefully you guys enjoy this middle part, and we'll stick around for the last part whenever that comes. I'm a, and before we get fully started, just want to say we have a new follower. I'm a Elsa Clo Klosnik. I'm not sure how you say that last name, but I'm a Elsa. Thank you so much for following off stream. Very much appreciate it. Hope to catch you live sometime. Anyways, let's continue on with what we were doing. We were just about to start the construction site area. Which I don't remember where I need to go for that. Oh, I think I. Do I go in here? Or is this where I came from? I don't know. I go in here. What was the map button? Right, that's the map button. Not that it really works because I don't have a map. Uh, come on, Heather. We got this. Of course, that door is locked. 97% of the doors in this game are locked. Health drinks. Electricity is off. Elevator won't work. You know what? That's reasonable. Hey, a bucket. Uh, anything under the stairs? Harry Potter, are you down here? Nope. Alright. Do 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 <laughs> Harry Potter just comes out and is like, hey guys. There was something on the floor there, I thought I could maybe take it. Hmm. Does this door open? Locks, alright. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, camera. Up, oh, lag. Third level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Well, fuck. Didn't get to read that. Ah, read it. Toolbox, but there's nothing useful inside. God damn. Toolbox, nothing useful. How are all these toolboxes here, but nothing useful in any of them? Four floors crumbled for safety's sake. Entry is forbidden. Camera's trying to give me a goddamn headache. <laughs> Stop it, please. Well, someone's making a beat. <laughs> That's locked. I can't see. Forward camera. God damn it, camera. Handgun bullets. I probably won't be using them. Yeah, drop the mattress into the hole. Kick that bitch. This is Sparta, you motherfucking mattress. Alright. Check for anything else up here. Anything back here at all? 
It's not looking like it. Oh, right there. Um, is there no map anywhere in here? I guess not. I didn't see anything on any of the walls coming up or anything, so I guess there's no map. Well, in we go. I wish I had a map. That's apparently a door. Oh god, no. Fuck off. Oh, that motherfucker is so loud. Hey, sir. How's it going? Man, just right there, huh? That's great. That, that's lovely. Pardon me. No, oh, don't get up on my account, please. You'll probably break the floor. Oh, damn. Is there anything over here? Nope. All right. Ah, oh, great. Well, looks like the only way to go is out. Ah, oh, son of a... Ah, oh, why is there one of you on each side? Fuck off. Oh, that's not the correct direction. Ah, da, da. Oh my god, Heather, please. Ow. Oh my god, this fucking sucks. This way. Yeah, that time it was Twitch, it wasn't me. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh boy. Don't see any info. What do you mean I will clean the floor? This isn't my freaking apartment. It's not my responsibility. Man, this is a really small office room. Can't see. I can't wait to find out that I missed the map. If there even is a map for this section. Okay, I'll just leave the doggy alone for right now. Already closing your eyes. Oh, I get it. My stream's too boring. I can't keep you awake. <laughs> the head is the only noteworthy thing. It's just a mannequin. Great. Love mannequins. I'm sorry? Oh. You've been decapitated. Huh. I didn't do it. Was not me. <laughs> oh, hi, puppy. Of course, that's broken. Oh, hello, other puppies. Oh, 
And I'm back here again. What is that? What was that scream? Oh man, you're on a bit of a delay, Chibu. The later doors are open a little too spacey. The space is too narrow, though. Door wall. Uh, ow! Hi, puppy. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't even tell where I entered from anymore. Just a movie with decapitation. Oh, what a joyful movie. Okay, so I came in through here. What's this door? More puppies! Great! Love them. Give them a treat. I do have beef jerky on me. I could technically give the dogs a treat. Oh, cool. Save room. Oh, thank God a map. Oh, I have something circled. Oh, that's the elevator. Map X Ciccone, my OTP. <laughs> oh, you reloaded? Okay, cool. Because that was one hell of a delay you were on. Cold. I wish it was cold where I am. Friggin', since I have to... Since I stream in my room and I have to keep my door closed so I'm not bothering anyone else, it gets so freaking warm in here. And it's warm outside. Want everything to become red? Well, you kind of got your wish. Okay, back out into the hallway. That door is locked. Mom ever call you a knock? Uh, she's knocked and come in a couple times and I've like muted myself quickly to like talk to her and stuff, but nothing like awful. Alright. Looks like just some health items in here. Appreciated. Anything else down here? Nope, that looks like the dead end. At least I have a map. Okay, so I'm assuming my goal is the elevator. I guess I need something to possibly pry it open. Or maybe I just need to restore power to the building. Oh boy. And there's a lot of floors. Oh shit. Also, one of these rooms was a staircase, but I don't remember where that was now. Hmm. Find the generator and the stabilizer. Oh jeez, no. Not more the stabilizer, please. <laughs> I enjoyed Dino Crisis, but my god, the stuff involved with that puzzle was a bit much. Like, I don't know how you were expected to ever figure that out. Especially in freaking 99 when that game came out. Mm. I think it was 99. Was it 99? I don't remember now. Is there nothing in this room? Is that room literally just hell for the sake of it? <laughs> I think it is. Growled. Hey, puppies. Haha, -ha, you missed. Door's locked. I'm gonna come. Okay. Getting stuff marked on the map at the very least.
Is this exit door the stairwell? Yes, it is. Cool. Alright, this is what I wanted to find. How far down can we go? Can I get all the way to the first floor? I can. 20 of junk. Door's been locked. Okay, no first floor for me. What about second floor? No second floor for me. Alright, cool. This is going great so far. Alright. How about we go up instead? Closed. Gotta keep going. Up oh, floor five is open. Anyone here? There's a vacuum here. Alright. Got a number of rooms to check. Hit <laughs> me. Just waiting in the back. Chibi waiting to pop out of every corner. Chibi was probably the one to decapitate the statue as well. Not the statue, mannequin. <laughs> Joking, jeez. Too much work. You know what? Fair. Okay, uh... Oh, there's a friend in there. Locked. Can't read that. Yeah, I thought this would be open. Oh, this is a weird perspective. Vase. Anything in here at all? Repressor of memories. Easier on a mannequin, but real body, no. Poison or stabs. Okay. Check up here for... Oh, a screwdriver! Couldn't be in any of the toolboxes, but, you know, just randomly on a cardboard box in a hallway. Um... I'm, I'm clicking X. Okay, that door apparently doesn't lead anywhere. That, okay. That door is also apparently fake. I could, I, I'm sorry, what? I got what? Hold, hold, wrong button. How do I open the menu? Wait, oh, wait. Huh. Ninja mode, yeah, whatcha? Ha, I fight for my ancestors. Cool, all right. Didn't expect a freaking katana and a freaking closet and a construction site. All right, cool. That's locked. All right. Okay, let's actually go through this door now. There is Mr. Penis Monster somewhere in here. 
Yep, there he is. Hey, sir, pardon me. Oh, jeez, hi. Man, this is not a room built for you, sir. You might want to think about getting a bigger living quarters. Ow. Oh, hello. Ah, just another day at the office. Thought it was a real door for a second, freaked me out. <laughs> A jack. Okay, but where's Jill? That was a dumb joke. Anything else in this room? It's not looking like it. Alright. Check my map real quick. Uh, probably should not go back through that door at the bottom there. Freaking Big McLarge huge and his, like, freaking New York-sized apartments in there. Locked. Locked. Unlocked. Alright. So with the screwdriver, I th think we've explored everything here and gotten what we need. As to why I need the screwdriver, I don't remember. I'm not sure there's a reason. I just don't remember the reason. Alright, let's see if we can go any further up. Do, 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 Lock is broken, can't open the door. Alright, so. No sixth floor. No fourth floor. Third floor is where I was at. And no first or second floor. Kind of makes you wonder why they even bothered to put these as an option. Other than, again, I guess I am trying to get into the elevator. Alright, do I need the screwdriver for the elevator, then? Feels a bit weird, but hey, you know what? I won't judge. Do, do, do. Gotta go back down to floor three. Going back down to the third floor. Where was the save room again? Ah, right. Through hell. But hello, doggies. Doggies. Okay, I guess the, I guess the dogs got hungry, or left, bathroom break, or something, I, I don't know, hmm, wasn't expecting the dogs to be gone, I guess the screwdriver was really what I needed. Screwdriver, the ultimate enemy of dogs. Would have thought it was a vacuum. Okay, you guys are still here, though. Alright. No point in going in that room. Okay. Guess it's time to try using this screwdriver on the elevator. Oop, wrong button. Uh, what was the buttons again? There we go. House key. 
Oh, the jack. I used the jack here. Right, I forgot that I picked that up like two seconds after I got it. <laughs> um, the door downstairs looks open too. No way I can get down there like this. What, do I need a rope? I guess I need a rope or something, huh? I don't remember seeing a rope anywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO! <laughs> okay. I don't remember what was in some of these rooms now. Hey, is there still demons in here? No, demons are gone. Man, those dogs really high-tailed it. <laughs> okay, you were open. What was in here? What was this room? Oh, right. The mannequin room. Oh. Hey. Hey, guys. Mm. Right. All that was in here was just, like, am ammo. Not gonna be a rope in there, I don't think. At least I'm assuming it's a rope that I need. Basic video game logic dictates that's what I would want to find. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's going to be in here either. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I only have two options as to where I could go. And as far as I could tell, I cleared four or five. Except, maybe not there? I don't think there was a door there, though. And also, son of a bitch, I have to use the restroom. I am so sorry, stream. I will be right back. Uh, I, I, got, I, I will BRB. One moment, everyone.
I'm back. Oop, I almost ended the recording. That would have been a bad thing. Duke de Fer I told that I might sail all falls. Okay. Chubu is very sleepy. <laughs> Oop. Uh, back into the game, please. Uh... What was I doing again? Right. I need to find a rope or something. Is there anything that I can do in here? It's a mannequin catalog. Tabletop with papers. I saw that before. Freaking, can I screwdriver the coffee? Nope. Mm. Okay. Let's get a real good look here. Hmm. All right. It's not like I have a lot of options to to go. That was the mannequin room. Alright, let's go back out into the main room and stuff. Thankfully, puppies despawned. Guess we're going back over here. Maybe something in the save room I missed? Probably unlikely, but you never know. Drawers open just a smidge, rusted, can't... Oh, okay, I did miss something in the save room. Alright then. I guess I need to use you there? Ah, oh, cool, to pry it open. Not even what a screwdriver is normally for. And there's a rope in the desk. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Rope in the desk drawer. How did I not see that coming? The classic. That's where everyone keeps their ropes, actually. Why am I even questioning? Raise your hand in the comments if you put ropes in your drawers at work. <laughs> That's not the elevator. Nope, that's the pen. Don't use that. I love the rope just being added into a still image. Going down. Alright, so now, second floor. Straight up broken, huh? And a save room right on the vending machine. Interesting. Also, when it comes to Chibu, I think she might be out like a light already. Fair enough. She was very tired. Alright. Looks like we got the same options as always for these rooms. Bathrooms are locked. Locked. Big room here. Or 
reception area. Locked. Just a bed. Oh, hi doggy. Beef jerky next to the doggy. Sort of display, apparently. Bathtub, dark red stain on the bottom. Lovely. Display of door handles? Unlock that. Cool. Here, another bathtub. Oh, why? There's no way this thing is freaking. Why would the plumbing be connected to this thing? It's in the middle of a random room in a construction site. Oh, but apparently it's a blood tub. Oh no. Um. Hello? Dad? No, not again. I mean, we were already seeing monsters, Heather. Did she do this too? Maybe. Son of a bitch. Oh, lovely. I don't know who you are, but I sure as hell don't appreciate you. Okay. Oh. Hi there. Oh, man. Aren't you actually pretty sure you're alive and I think you have a name if I remember correctly but I don't remember what that name was so point point mute oh Jesus freaking there's crackheads on the floor something here Find the Holy One. Kill her? Well, that seems a bit rude. Oh, that's especially rude, actually. That's me. Uh, who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. Oh, new save room. Glad we had that save room in the freaking vending machine hallway for like two seconds locked open oh hello Don't forget it, okay? 
I'll forget it in like two minutes, dude. Did you say? But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Crazy old hag is a harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? Please. You don't remember? So Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side. And that big. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Hey, don't you talk about Harry that way. Talk about my dad like that! Oh, Sorry. shit. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. What about Tell my future? What's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. You know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Does this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking. How do you think? Something is wrong with me too. Bye. Don't think I'll go. Don't think I'll go in this room. Like that, that weird guy's in there. Fair enough. Health drink. First aid kit. First aid kit. Jesus. I don't remember this game being so generous with all the healing items. When you pour diluted hydrogen peroxide into manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it will help other things to burn. Okay. Thank you. For the chemistry lesson. Oh, I'm back here. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Might as well save so that way I don't have to sit through that cutscene again if something were to happen. Whoop. Okay, so... Right, there's gonna be crackheads on the floor when I come out of here. Be ready to run. Oh, hello, crackhead. Ow. Pardon me. Up oh, and there's doggies. Wonderful. Love when the whole family is involved. Didn't expect the elevator to be working. Okay. Huh. I'm not exactly sure which floor I'm trying to get to. Uh, let me check my map. Excuse me. I didn't even check everything on this floor. Let me do a quick save state and I'll run out of the elevator and see what I can find. This was third floor, right? Is this the third floor? No, this is the second floor.
locked. Another door. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, that works. Okay, yeah. So, that door is just locked and everything, so no points in going there. Alright, then. Which floor should we try to get to? First floor... Third floor is where most of the shit has been going on. I didn't get to reach the fourth floor. I also didn't get to reach the sixth. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess it depends if the elevator even lets me go to some of these floors. How's it going? Looks like a fairy tale? Yeah, perfect time to read a fairy tale when there's a freaking demon hanging over my head. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha, take that. Our swords slashed and spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth, one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and placed, paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. Uh, the king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. The book is torn. The rest is missing. I remember reading this a long time ago. I think I borrowed it from someone. I don't remember how it ended, though. Girl, I didn't... Didn't I read the story through to the end? Ha. Huh. Well, hey, man. You just chill there. I'll, um, uh... I'll go do my own thing. Locked. There might not be anything else on this floor other than him. On the bright side, at least he doesn't move. Oh, well, there's definitely people in there. Give me a moment while I check these rooms. Okay, cool. Of course I clicked for the first room that was correct. Alright, so this is one big bar room. Please keep the camera straight, Heather. Oh, my favorite dude. Big McLarge guy. Pork liver. Why pork liver? Just like an item right there. Shotgun shells. The music is trying to make me feel tense, but friggin' this guy's like major passed out on the floor. He's like as he's like harder asleep than what Chibu is right now. Alright. Well, that was a good first floor exploration, I think. Learned a lot. Met him. I think we can leave now. Alright, so I guess I need to find the pages of that book to learn how to defeat that monster. Okay. Uh, we've already been to floor two. Floor three doesn't work. Alright. Okay. 
Hey, horrible monsters and gruesome death. Um, well, that's another one of the horrible monsters for now, at least, but gruesome death could still possibly occur. Can't even tell what's supposed to be there. Are you unlocked? You're locked. Which means the other side will be open. Please focus camera. Or not. Never mind. Alright. This room is just completely sealed for whatever reason. Interesting. Alright, maybe I need, like, a key or something. Alright then. Let's see if I can go to floor 5 or 6. And if I can't, I'm gonna be very confused. Alright. Again. No monsters. Gruesome death. We'll soon find out. Yeah, I didn't think anything would happen with that. But it doesn't hurt to click it anyway. Big hole. Pathway. Locked. Also locked. There we go. Okay, and I wish I was elsewhere now. Hello, ow. What's up, you crackhead? Locked, I think. Uh, big, okay. Locked. All right, well, there's a couple doors that I didn't check. Locked, of course. Oh, save room. Another bucket. Okay. Any items from what I can see? Nope, doesn't look like it. Caption under picture, flame purifies all. By the remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No, wait, I've never seen it. But I do know it somehow. Interesting, can we pick up the bucket? I guess not. Alright. Gallery. How lovely. Alright. We're gonna go back, see if we can open up any of those doors right there. Probably won't be able to. But, gotta make sure. Oh. Maybe not make sure that way, though. Um, right. This door. Touch it, please. Focus. Hey, crackheads. Okay. Ow! Hey, don't you step on me, you son of a bitch. Oh. Hello. What are you doing over there? Hmm. Alright. Don't know what the purpose of this room was, but cool. Stay there. Handgun bullets. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Uh, was that all that was in here? Just ammo? Looks like it. Hello again. 
two, which doors did I not check here? Well, first off, this one. Okay. Cool. God damn it. Does that knockdown do damage? Yes, I think. Not a lot, but still. We'll do that just to keep myself safe. I don't remember completely what all the health values are. We'll save again. Out of curiosity, how much freaking ammo am I holding on to? Oh, it doesn't show here. Showing items? Mm, no. Oh, supplies then? <laughs> oh, cool. So about 36 shotgun shells and like 130 freaking pistol rounds I'm holding on to that aren't going to be used until I reach another boss fight. Locked. Locked. Oh. Huh. Picture. Okay, I guess this picture is important. Flame purifies all. Well, I don't believe I have a lighter or anything. Right, I have pork and a chemical. Which helps to make things burn? I don't know if there's anything in this bucket. Can I use the chemical now? Or do I have to wait until I find whatever else? Yeah, I guess I need to find whatever else. Alright, well... Well, I guess I have to run past my friends again. Son of a bitch. I wish I checked those doors in that room before I did this journey. God damn it. place left to go, and that's floor six. Shit. Huh. Okay, then. I'm not sure what to do here. I kind of want to go back to the second floor, although I don't know why. I don't think anything there is going to help me. It's not like going to the Fourth floor will solve anything. And third and sixth floor are completely off limits to me. 
And I literally just explored this entire floor. Hmm. I'm not sure where I missed something. Was there a monsters in this room? There was. Hello. Okay, so I went the wrong way, first of all. Shells. Hydrogen peroxide onto dioxide. What's the chemical that I picked up? Oxidol. That doesn't sound like either of the things that I picked up. Hmm. Hey, sir. I swear you have a name, I just can't remember what it is. Hey, you want some pork? Guess not. Maybe I can give pork to the monster for some reason? God, I don't remember this section too well, unfortunately. Hello. Floor one, please. Hey, man, I'm back. How's it going? Can I give you this? Maybe I wasn't close enough before. Okay, no. The pork is not to feed the monster. But then where the heck does it go to?
Well, pardon me, sir. Hope I didn't interrupt your nap. Hmm. Maybe I missed something here then, but what? I don't know if I found any answers trying to look it up. Because I am major freaking stuck right now. That's not going to work. Those were locked. This is unlocked and my friends are on the other side. All right, well, I'm probably gonna get knocked down at least two more times. Okay. Son of a bitch, really? I missed that. Fuck me. Alright. Ignore the fact that I clicked X everywhere in that goddamn room trying to make sure I didn't miss an item. And somehow still did. Alright, well, I know what to do. I know what to do from now. Hey, picture, how's it going? So, let's see. I need to combine all three of those. 
Hey, Heather, don't burn yourself or choke yourself with chemicals again. Oh, hold on, wait, what? What What the fuck was that? Hold, wait. This, is that not something on the floor right there? Okay, I guess not. Also, um, where the fuck am I? Someone's hanging. They look dead, all right. We can only hope. The rest of the fairy tale. The princess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried convincing it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said, but she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Okay. Well, that's not helpful. I hope there's more to the story than that. Son of a bitch, where am I? Oh! Hey, the fourth floor! Right, because I came down from the fifth floor, so obviously this is where I would be. Duh. Anyway. Hello. Oh, jeez. Could you? What are you doing to me? Let go of my leg! Why are you humping me? Okay. Didn't expect freaking leg hump McGee. Oh, jeez, hi. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. I can't see. Well, hey, there's a health kit. Mm -hmm. Cool, just gonna taunt me with what could be. Room is literally completely separated off the map. Alright. Well, before I go back out there with Sir Humps, use another one of those. Alright, so far I'm striking out on all these rooms. Only two more doors that I can even check. Ow. Bitch. Did, did you just shit on my chest? Pretty sure that monster just gave me a Cleveland steamer. I am literally mashing the X button for any and all possible items. 
And I swear to God, if the game does not give me whatever item is probably in this room that I need, I'm gonna be furious. Oh shit, hold on. Something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet fate hath no price. Ah, oh, but do people know this? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Make sure I go all around. Because, goddamn, this game is apparently much pickier than what I remember. Of course, all that money would come in handy right now. Don't need any more coins. Forget about it. I use this with the vending machine, maybe? Since this is just kind of here? No? Not with the not with the vending machine? Plain old vending machine. Okay, sorry, I guess I wasn't facing it even though I was staring directly at it. Life insurance key. Is it time to take out a policy? Nope, not that key. There's a tag on the key that says Alperton Life Insurance. Okay. Where is that, though? It doesn't seem like any of the rooms here are it. So... I guess I need somewhere with a locked door. Uh, fifth floor... Doesn't look like it has it. Neither does the second floor. Oh. First floor. Alright. Cool. I know where to go. Hello. On the bright side, those little crawling enemies are probably the most annoying things in this game. And I think they only show up for this section. Because I don't remember them elsewhere, but I could be wrong. Alright, floor one, please. Hey, man. Son of a bitch. Alright. How many doors do we got here? A fucking lot. Okay, well that's useless. Hey, there you are. Yep. Because there's no avoiding that for whatever reason. my freaking 
attacks to walk. That dude was munching on something. Oh. What am I looking at? What is this room? Oh, the end of the story. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granted their wishes, healed the princess. The princess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No. This time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work, arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. D what the fuck? Tu fui ego eris. Waffle. Okay. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry, then died and vanished. Alright, I don't know if I need to remember the words. Freaking tui fu ego waffle eris, but I will make a note of it just in case. Tu fui ego waffles. There we go. Also, I know that says ego. Thus, the villagers were able to use the gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. I don't know, but let's see if we can even... Oh. Hey. Why is everyone gone all of a sudden? Oh, I didn't even speak the words in your presence, dude. Alright, well, I guess I didn't need that note. This city has a lot of construction. Alright, cool. I don't know where to go from here. This is kind of a big area for you to just let me walk around in. Daisyville apartment. Oh, okay. I think that's where I live. Alright, well, let me search around for any items, I guess. Just real quick. Not seeing any, though. Okay. 
anything on this side of notes? Okay, I don't think there's anything. Alright, let's go home. Where was that walkway again? There it is. Home, home on the range. Where I will see Dad again, finally. Hmm. Hope Dad doesn't mind that I now have a handgun. It's not my place. I don't know where you live. Not my place. Nope. Alright. Batting a thousand here. Save spot. Mailbox is empty. Oh, no one sent us anything? Not even like a condolence card? Or like a friggin' congrats on getting through nightmares? Oh, I guess this is my room. Dad, I'm home. Dad, I'm home. I wrote this game. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Man, that scene hits. That's probably the most emotional scene in all of Silent Hill, actually. Though I don't really remember the later games. Maybe they have some emotional moments? I can't remember. A lot of them are crap, though. Oh, hey. You're late. Shooter. 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 
Fire. Kill him and kill you. Oh, she said the name. She said the name of the game. And shit. Okay. Um. Oh God, I forgot how fast you were. Okay. Um. First off, I'm gonna want a shotgun. Second off, fuck me. How does this fight work? I think I want to get behind him, if I remember. Ow. Fuck me. Okay. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. Now he starts blocking from the front, right? I think that missed. Uh, reload, right? Well, not quite, but might as well. Oh, hello. There we go. Alright. Not quite as bad as I will remember. Oh, and I guess it's time for more sadness. Oh, hey. Yeah, you didn't go away.
Silent Hill? I don't know. You think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. care about God or paradise, if that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not. That's what I'm going to do. I didn't think so. None of your business. I'll give you a lot. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. That's fine. Nobody's gonna climb in my grave. Oh man, what radiating positivity coming from this game right now. Oh man, the music. I'll find the woman and make her pay. I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way. Uh, I mean, I think he might be disappointed, but I think he would also understand. Man, friggin' protagonist of the first Silent Hill, Harry Mason, killed in an off-screen fight. Kind of unfortunate, but... I mean, I would like to imagine that he at least went down fighting. Just wish he went down to something cooler, rather than something that freaking we beat in like, a couple seconds. don't have a map of this area. You don't have a map of your house? Regular TV, nothing different about it. Liar. 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 Okay, there was something about her dad there that I missed. Oh, is this her room? I don't remember when. I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. I mean, you could play with it, if you want. I'm exhausted, but I don't think I can sleep now. Besides, Douglas should be waiting for me outside. Morning always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's the hero's line from this movie. I always like that line, but now it just seems stupid. Well, my dresser, I don't need to change, I'll leave that alone. Stun gun? Oh! And stun gun battery. Oh, okay, cool. And you want to take a shit? Maybe a bath real quick? I mean, it's just Douglas that's waiting. Dad leave dinner in the fridge? Nothing to do in the kitchen, I'm not hungry at all. Who would eat and who would eat something in a situation like this? I mean, quite a number of people, I think. But I can also understand the loss of appetite.
Moving on. Bye, Harry. I'll miss ya. I just met some guy named Vincent. Oh, great. He's a friend of yours, right? No. I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding. Road trip. What's the deal with Silent Hill Radio? Man, you tell me. I think there's a fan theory that says that the person that he was looking for was um, uh, James from Silent Hill 2. I don't know if, how true that is, though. Uh oh, game. My stream might crash here in a moment. Yep, my stream crashed. I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power to me too. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Just like I 
was his very own daughter. You know, he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. God, the freaking music and everything in that scene is so fucking good. Somebody head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Got the map, right? Yeah. Gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. You're 17, you're a child. Back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Who's Roger? <sighs> and here we are, back in the town of Silent Hill. Also, shout out to, oh uh, shit, what was his name, Douglas? Shout out to Douglas to just taking everything that freaking Heather said in the car as word of fact, that her dad freaking killed a god and everything, that she came from a mysterious woman and her dad just took her in unquestioning. Like, you know, freaking Douglas is just like, well, you know what, I've seen plenty of fucked up shit. I might as well believe anything this 17 year old girl says to me. Dad's notebook. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelized. Simple, simple words to my dear daughter. I hope this will never come to any use, but maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the, ro on the, side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later... 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped into the flames and went on to live in a baby in that girl of mine, of ours. 
Seven years passed before that half of a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alyssa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled in this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alyssa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alyssa. The, newborn, the newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's, and probably Alyssa's, conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God vanished in a glow of light, Alyssa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alyssa was dead, was gone and dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream. But I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess, I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter that led to sadness, anger. There were times where I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh, so... Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. What the fuck happened to my status bar? Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, I just got finished reading something freaking like personal and stuff and freaking my status bar is having a goddamn seizure for some reason. What the hell? <laughs> I might need to... I need to reload the game. Oh, no, we're fine now. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> uh, Silent Hill. Same map from prior two games, too. Though I doubt you're going to be able to go absolutely anywhere that you want. ambiance and everything. One oh six, that's the room that we were staying in. Alright. I don't think any of these other doors are even Yeah, they're not even touchable. Town of Silent Hill. Ah, cool, and there's still monsters about. Um, can I not go to Rosewater Park? Probably not. There's literally no reason for me to go there. But it was a thought.
Do, 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 do. Oh, that's blocked off. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely limiting you on where you can go. Alright. Fair enough, I'll stop dicking around. God, I remember when they did this fog for the original PS1 game because they couldn't do a proper freaking... I'm a... Ah, jeez. I'm a... They couldn't do a proper render distance. So, to hide all the rendering and loading problems, they put the fog in the game. And yet this fog ended up becoming one of the most iconic things to Silent Hill franchise. Might be a bit unneeded for freaking this game. It was probably a bit unneeded for Silent Hill 2 as well, considering the PS2 probably could have handled what they wanted to do. But man, freaking to think that this was done as a freaking graphical imitation initially. And yet it spells so much of the game's identity. Where the fuck am I going right now? I cannot see. This is some intense fog. Shout out to like the freaking, jeez, was it only on Xbox or was it also on PS3? Can't remember. But there was a remaster collection that had a uh, completely like remade Silent Hill One, Silent Hill Two, and this game that completely fucked everything up and freaking got rid of the fog. I think it was like because of one freaking. I think it was because of, like, a code error or something like that. Don't need to be here now. What? Isn't this the way of the... Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. Maybe I wouldn't have missed my turn if I could fucking see where I am. Shout out to that man on the wall. And that man on the wall. Oh, um, okay, I guess I'm going down the correct street. <coughs> Who's doing that and why? If you're not a dog, you better not be howling. Still got a way to go. Hello there. Gotta say, pretty proud of myself. Haven't killed a single thing aside from the bosses. So literally, my kill count is the, the freaking penis worm, and the freaking monster that killed my dad. Which, by the way, that monster is such a total letdown for the thing that apparently killed Harry. Like Harry literally went through the entire Silent Hill, freaking beat, killed their god and everything, and yet whatever that thing was was apparently enough. The freaking beat Harry. Brookhaven Hospital. Oh man, the memories of this place are not pleasant. Don't think I can reach that door, not that it matters. Anything else in here? Are you gonna be open? You're locked. I really can't reach this door, right? Yeah, okay. Save. Alright, time for another hospital section. Well, first for this game, third for the freaking series. Hi, nurse. Ow. Bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, 97% 90, of these things are going to be locked. Haha, <laughs> can't hit me here. Ooh, what we got in the fridge? Memo. Food only. Do not store drugs. 
wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. Uh, uh, that depends. Is a health drink a drug? I mean, I would assume it's medicine. But I don't know exactly what kind of medicine would rejuvenate your health like that. Oh. Room S12. Presenting mild auto audio-visual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Suspect mild schizophrenia. We'll continue to observe. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other is for Stanley Coleman. Room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. How can you be egotistical but also be passive and cowardly? Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Yeah, that sounds like a passive and cowardly person. Okay. Do, 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 do. Anything up there? Nope. Alright. So yeah, all those doors are locked. I'm assuming the elevator isn't going to work. I need to check the pharmacy storeroom and visiting rooms, of course. Hello, pardon me. Nope. Oh wow, the elevator is actually working. That's honestly surprising. Um, hold on, I still have rooms to check though. Can I, re may I open the doors, please? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't actually expect you to let me in. Hello. Locked. Oh, well, this is a nice little room. This room actually looks normal. The day has finally come. That's right. Today when you and I will meet. I will always I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. You're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Um, dude, I'm 17. Broken. Broken. Okay. Ow, bitch. Oh, hello. Shit. Alright, you guys are a little bit harder to run past. Locked. Hello. Okay. I'm getting my freaking ass handed to me right now. Oh, Jesus Christ! Party room! Things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably glued all these, but why do this in the first place? Hey, I think I probably need that key. Take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can't even pull it off. The organization has shut me up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I will always stay sane, even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be, that would be worthless. You could, you can peel it off, can't you? With, 
with that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using? If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, uh, my gift must have given, must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Again, 17. How's my health? I'm dying. Hospital might be the most difficult place to go through without taking hits. Okay. I like how your breathing synced up. Ow! Okay, why do you get a freaking lunging stab? That's rude. God damn it. How much did those hits do? A lot. Fuck. This section might be a bit of a challenge to do without killing things. Can I go to the basement? Guess not. Second floor? Oh my god. I forgot how many goddamn rooms exist in this hospital. At least it doesn't sound like there's any enemies here. God damn it, camera. I will say, this game might have the worst camera out of all the Silent Hills. You may not have yet realized your own true feelings, but, your sense, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue to the path of paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates, doctor. I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has posted it. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. It's a shame, isn't it? I'm not there. Are you, aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. I am 17! Stop! What's this supposed to mean? Ah, oh, fuck. The first is larger than the second. The second, twice the third. The third, smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half of the first. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm just gonna take a picture of this because I feel like I have a puzzle in my very near future probably within the next second four of the numbers are not repeated three are not in the top row two are not in the right row one of the numbers is the final key what the fuck does that mean oh shit Oh, got to take a picture of this, too. Okay. I'm assuming for... Yeah, this door. Yeah, okay. I'll figure that out in a moment. Let me continue exploring for now.
At least it's not a party room. Nail polish remover, perfume. Nail polish remover and perfume. Okay. I doubt the nail polish remover is what I used to get that key off the stuck wall, is it? It might be. Have I checked all the doors here? Except for the nurse's station, which somehow I missed. But I keep missing it somehow. It's right here. Okay. It's locked anyway, but still. I wanted to get it crossed off. Alright, so there's a password for that door that I need to figure out, and I will in a moment. Let me see if I can even go to room, or floor three, I mean. See if that's even a possibility. Okay, no. Alright, so I gotta figure out this puzzle. Cool. Alright, I need to push the button to open the doors. Bing bong. Alright. Let's figure out the store code. Okay. The first is larger than the second. The second, twice the third. The third, smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half of the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Okay, so one of the numbers is in the top row. Two are not in the right row. Okay, so... If we take that into account, that only one is in the top row, and two aren't in the right row, then I think that means... Three is limited out of possible contention. Either three is eliminated or one is eliminated, I feel. I'm not sure. But then that means. Hmm. Or three is it? Okay, so I mean, I feel like I'm dealing with odd numbers. Uh, two are not. I'm a. I'm a one of the numbers is the final key. One of the numbers is the final key. What does that even mean? Alright, so... Let's figure it out. None of the numbers are repeated. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the size of the third. So let's see. Four. Second is twice the size of the third. Third is smaller than the fourth. Fourth is half of the first. Uh, this is going to be wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Alright, exit out. Yeah. Okay. Gotta remember that only one of the numbers in the wait. Two are not in three are not on the top. Oh, so none of the numbers in the top are it. Oh shit. Okay, I didn't think of that. Alright, so I'm dealing with these numbers. Three is definitely not one of them, so either six or nine isn't used. Okay, so let's see. Nine, eight, four, 
Hold on, I'm losing my, I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. Okay, so I clicked nine. Nine is larger than the second. The second is twice of the third, which would, which would make it four. And ah, shit! But there's no half to nine. All right, shit. Try again. So then the first would have to be eight. Right? Eight would be twice the third, so. But none of the top ones are used. can't use three in that. Okay, hold on. We'll figure this out. This might be the hardest puzzle in the game, actually. Okay, so three in the top aren't used. First number is larger than the second. Or the second number is larger than the first. It feels like I need three. Nothing I can think of would work without a two or a three so maybe one of those lines is lying I don't know why it would be maybe there's like hints somewhere four six nine and then all three of them nine Okay, that's not working. I thought that was it. Uh, is there something else to help me here? Uh, what did creepy guy say in his note? Oh, that note isn't here anymore. Never mind. Uh, one of these doors opened, right? This one? Is there a note in here that helps? Anything in here at all? Maybe that's just the wrong code. I definitely feel like I need three, though. So I still think whatever line might be lying about this top row. Okay, so. Larger than the second, twice the third, half of the first. than the second, so eight, double the third, well then that makes it either six or four, if I can, if I can land on six, half that, and then four. 
four is more, right? Okay, I don't know what I did exactly. Oh, cool, I have more friends. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh. That shows a nice room to go into. Papers on the floor, something's written on them. Nothing important, apparently. This corpse is laid on the stretcher. The hand has something sticking out of the sheet written on it. It's a tattoo. Okay, what? Oh, there we go. The start time is my key. What? Oh, shit. I read something there. Background unknown. Name and age unknown. Not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds, and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severe carotid artery? Car fuck, I, I know this word. Why can't I fucking read it? <laughs> fuck it. Uh, was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Send to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corb, 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 whatever of event from the patient in the same room. Have not notified police. However, future, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Okay. Hey, man. So, I'm uh, time the Time is your key, huh? Sure. What does that even mean? Hello. Ow. Okay, that's bullshit. Locked, locked. Hello. I missed that. Oh my god, you have a gun! I'm sorry, what? Bitch is back in heat. Three fifteen. That was simple. Instant camera. How about instant bullet hole filler? Cause goddamn, I got wrecked. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut open to show you my heart? I love Heather? No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Uh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. I am a goddamn minor, you fucking sycophant. That's not even the correct word. Okay, well, I have two more rooms to check here, and then I guess I have the nail polish to try using on a freaking door somewhere. D don't you fucking shoot me. Oh, party room! Uh, I need to check the party room. Hey guys, pardon me. Anything in here? 
Anything at all. Ow, bitch. Fuck you. Okay, I'm probably gonna use that in a moment. Pardon me. Uh, you're the nurse with the Glock. Oh, cool. My oh, there's friends here. Hi. How's it going? Okay, then. Well, going down. Hi. Well, at least none of you are packing a gun. All right, I need to get the room to the room at the far end. Pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. All right. I still don't think nail polish is going to be enough, but hey, I never know. Oh, hey, freaking stun gun. Oh, what do you know? It's enough. Stairwell key. Okay, but for which set of... Which door set? Well, the second one's broken, so I guess the first floor. And I guess with the first floors, I go up to the top or the basement. All right, then. Cool. Now, can I get past the nurses without getting fucked up? Let's see. Hey, what do you know? Can I get down to the basement? Can I leave the basement? This room is open. All junk. I can move the shelf. Okay. Do I fucking use the... Oh, really? I was kind of joking. What does that say? Is that supposed to be a six or a one? 6172, I guess. Okay. I don't know where I need that quite yet. Submachine gun. Jesus Christ. Now I'm packing heat. 
Part of me wants to peek in, but it's a little too creepy. Can I use the camera for that too? Uh, apparently not. Apparently, apparently that was all that the camera was good for, was that one picture. Alright, well. One, or six, one, seven, two. Six, one, seven, two. Six, one, seven, two. Uh, I want back, please. At least that's an option now for that floor. Ooh, big thud. I don't suppose I can get to the roof, can I? I also like the rooftop. Makes you want makes me want to fly. You too? Oh, what do you know? There's actually access to the roof. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Oh, it's you guys! Oh, I've missed you! Oh, you guys are so nice in comparison to all the nurses. Hey, guys! How you been? My god, I haven't seen you since, what, the freaking mall? Ah, too long. Ah, I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, well, I gotta go. Bye, guys. What friendly guys. Okay. So far, nothing trying to kill me. Memo on the wall. Punishment for brutal for brutality towards patient. Twelve hours confinement in special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Okay. That's unlocked. This is also unlocked. Flowing freely your ebony hair like this night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring, clamoring in my chest like a storm you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric. A great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you ex I exist as one. What if I give this to you? What what I give to you is the same as what you give to me, Stanley Coleman. Okay, well he talks about black hair. My hair is not black. I am blonde. Oh, hi. You you can you can keep that room. I I don't think I need it. Oh, safe point. Any items in here? Oh boy. Huh? 
health drinks. Those are going to be very nice. Taking a lot of damage here, but hopefully I can get through this without using too many more items. I guess I got the elevator to work up here. Open please, I'm not done exploring. for right here yes except for the store over here which I was purposely saving for last don't know why I saved it for last oh six one seven god damn it two sweet Magazine, some kind of gossip. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Ah, the SHSSS. A charity organization sometimes called 4S. Oh, okay then. I think I like my acronym better. It's true that 4S is well-respected charity that takes place that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope, but at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma of in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say: Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, the reporter has refused was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult, the cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph, however you say his name. Hope House, I feel like I've heard that name before. I'll drink, I'll drink. Tissue and an alarm clock, huh? Clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. All right, fair enough. Locked. 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 Beef jerky. Well, this is not another party room. Oh, hey, the doll's broken. Ooh. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. 
If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Blank. Dolls all torn apart. It's really sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. What is this? Stanley's room? Anyway. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, time to check these doors a bit faster. Ow. Shit, fuck you. One moment, please. Who is it? Domino's Pizza Delivery. I'm not Claudia. I would like to. Oh, he hung up. So, that would be room M6, but I can't get in there. Oh my god, camera, please. Hey everybody, how's it going?
Nope, not that door. This door. Do I have friends in this room now, too? Nope, doesn't sound like it. Oh, come on, camera, focus, please. Oh, Jesus, hi. Nope, that's not it. Pardon? Excuse me. Oh, isn't this the floor with the freaking one with the gun? Yep, there she is. Telling me I have to navigate a maze? Well, at this rate, I think I'm gonna end up back where I started. Or not? I hope you don't expect me to be able to find my way back. Ah. Oh. More. Alright, well, not that way. Shout out to the red line on the bottom of my screen. Oh, there we go. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But I know that nurse, Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Okay, well, that's just rude, first of all. Also, I'm in a completely new location. I thought I was saving my game. It's you again. I still don't remember what your name was. But I know you have one. Oh my god. I... What the... Fuck is going on here? Ah, oh. oh, I'm in, I'm in this world again. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem that I can use the doors. I 
I thought I needed to check this out. Fair enough. More than fair. Okay. Oh, I see the pathway. That's a cool little creepy camera angle. I'll give you props for that game. Oh shit. Oh, you guys. I thought you were only in the one section. But there's rooms and stuff that I didn't check. If I can even go in any of them, actually. Mm. Think it's time to save state cheese. Just real quickly. If not, no big deal. I mostly just want to find a save room. Ow. Cool. Yep, we're doing this again. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It was locked. Oh, okay. Yep, you're there, too. Cool, and you're tramp- you're fucking- fucking me. I can't move. Oh, no, this room. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. I forgot about this room. Well, time to experience this, I guess. Oh, now she's not even moving with me. Okay. That was fun. That's unlocked. Cool. Why did I unlock it? Ow. Locked. That's a dead end. That's still a dead end. Oh, they can push you down that? Oh. Was not aware. Huh. Alright, well, regardless... Wasn't anything for me to experience other than the storeroom. Which I don't think I need to experience. I don't think I need to go there again. Ah, oh, shit. What floor am I on? The third floor? That would be where I am. Basement floor is now apparently too. Please, no little crawly bastards. Oh, yay, my plea was answered. Okay, that's just a dead end. Locked. Sure. 
Okay. Locked. Open. I... Who put the phone in the locker? Come on, admit it. Who did it? Raise your hand. Alright, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> Got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my. I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. I'm 17. I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! It's not my birthday. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. Okay, I'm still looking for a save room. Plastic bag and a health drink, I think? Oh, hey, man. What are you doing in here? Got locked up in a cage. Huh, that was a pleasant thought. Well, regardless... No safe points in here. Uh, what item did I pick up exactly? Cool. All right, and now there's enemies in this hallway, so joy. Yep, yeah, they are. Hi, how's it going? Please get off me. Oh, that's locked. Who was that? I have no idea. Okay. Well, I guess I'm done here. Thank you for the plastic bag. On my way, I must go. I guess to the first floor now. I really need a save room to come up. Son of a bitch. Alright. Touch broken. 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 Ow. Hi. Uh, 
Okay, so just empty room then? Great, I love it. Oh, geez, hi. Don't know why, but I didn't expect you there. Oh, there we go, save room. Dr. Medkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has gotten, has it that he's gotten here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. If it looks, it looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though easy to deal with. Okay. Sure. Cool, an ampule. Alright. But it is time to save! And time to end stream! Thank you so much for anybody who was here, stopped by, or maybe you who are here and fell asleep. I'm uh, very much appreciate you for coming by and watching. Once again, I want to say thank you to Elsa who followed me before I even started stream today. So once again, Elsa, if you watched this, thank you. I'm a... Uh... Yeah, so next time we play this game, I should be finishing it. I'm a... Uh, as for when the next time I'm playing, or streaming even, I should say, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I, th I believe I'm working both Thursday and Friday this week, so I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to stream again, unfortunately. So it might have to wait till next week, Monday, Tuesday, for me to revisit this. So, sorry about how long the wait might be for the next part of this. Hopefully it'll be worth it. We should be wrapping up this game. I don't think we have too much longer to go before we reach the end. And yeah, I'm a, until then, I'm a YouTube. Hope you made it this far. If you did, I appreciate you. If you aren't already, please consider coming over to Twitch and following me on here. But if not, then hey, maybe support me on YouTube. Give a like, comment on what you enjoyed in this. Maybe leave a suggestion for what you would like to see me play next. And maybe even subscribe if you feel so inclined. But if not, no worries either way, of course. Like I said, I'll be back next week, Monday and Tuesday, with another video for you, YouTube. I'm uh, sorry about the lack of content for Thursday and Friday, but like I said, I work, and there's not really much I can do to change that. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, until then, YouTube, take care, take it easy. Hope you have a good day or night or whenever the heck you watch this. And I will see you all next week. Bye, YouTube.